J Flight 26 BH came on trade here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Very nicely kept, uh, one owner, used RV, no smokers, no pets that I can detect. Um, uh, we actually sold this new. Uh, you know, they uh, had a good time, used it for four or five years. When it came time to upgrade, we were the folks they came to see because we treated them right. And, uh, you know, we do that the first time and we try to do it every time. Uh, going through this, I really, I can't see any sort of defects I need to point out. Uh, been used a little bit, but really well kept and well maintained, and that's the important thing. Uh, all your seals and whatnot look good. I can't find any areas of water penetration. Uh, spare tires never touch the ground, uh, so it obviously hasn't been bounced down the road a lot and had any, like, you know, tough times on the highway. I do see that on both sides uh, of the bumper, they have these little add-on safety lights here that are actually tapped right into your normal turn signals. Uh, we haven't removed the plate, by the way. Like I said, this just came in on trade. Um, those are going to really improve your visibility for like your brake lights and whatnot going down the road. And hey, every uh, you know, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. That is a fact. Good size awning on this, roughly 18 feet, give or take a little bit. Big front pass-through storage. Um, rear storage back here below the bunks and storage is a word you're going to hear me wear out. What's ironic is this little 26-foot no-slide camper is going to be one of the best for storage you can find. Ironically, slide-outs eliminate the opportunity for storage. Um, this, by the way, uh, six-gallon gas and electric auto-ignition water heater. Usually uh, bunkhouses in this class uh, have, uh, you know, um, gas-only water heaters. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of the, uh, well, a quick peek of the front storage area here. What's nice is, uh, you see it does have a bulkhead divider wall, but you can lift the bed up and get for, to the outside storage from inside as well. Um, and this door is a little bit wider, which is nice, so you can actually fit some big cargo in there. Um, 4,892 pounds as built and equipped. Uh, so, pretty much any common half ton. W without a slide, this is not heavy. Now, um, you know, you, you might find a floor plane like this that weighs maybe a pound or two less, but it is smaller. J Flights um, are 81 inches tall inside. That's three inches taller than the industry standard. That means we have more headroom, we have bigger cabinets, we have more space in the bunks, and you have more room in the shower. It's a big deal. So, I mean, anything you're, every single day, you're going to get to take advantage of that extra overhead height. Now, uh, these cabinets are usually included in floor plans like this, but this section over here, everything from my hand to the right, a lot of manufacturers will cut those out um, to save on you know weight, to save on cost, and they can show you theirs is a dollar cheaper. But you notice that you get more storage in this, and these are high use doors. These are doors you're going to be in and out of all the time, and these things are made for abuse. It's it's a Jayco. It's a well built trailer. Um, <clears throat> they also give you good amount of, uh, like kitchen drawer space in here, which is something a lot of brands don't do. And for many, many years, Jayco included this sectionalized top drawer here, which is perfect for like your silverware and whatnot. But notice everything else is full extension. It's all plywood box constructed. This is actually a nice cross section to see how this trailer is put together. This camper has a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor, 3 8 tongue and groove, uh, wood decking with, um extremely heavy duty reinforced wood truss roof uh, members basically uh, this is a truly full walk on roof so maintaining this over the long term period of your ownership is not a problem um, I'm, I don't know if you would caught but that was a central air conditioner we just went past we're looking at central floor heat ducts down here and even though this is a no slide camper there's a decent amount of space in here this is basically the exact same layout I go camping in um, this is just a, a little, roughly about the same age as the trailer I tend to camp in most time, actually. Um, looking at your high uh, capacity or your high volume seating areas, I like to kind of give you a nice zoom in shot of these, so you get to see that the, uh, you know, your your upholstery is not all torn up. These folks really were very gentle on their trailer and took good care of it. Uh, central air and central heat runs off one centralized thermostat, just like your house. So that's what's nice. There's a lot of campers in this class. Uh, you have to make a lot of accommodations for, but you know, Jayco, it's just a lot like going camping just in a house that's on wheels, you know. Um, they do split the bathroom here, and when they first started doing this, they had a little bit of pushback from folks like, well, I don't know, that's that's not that's not how we've done it for years. 
But um, after some folks went out and used them, what they found is that this is actually a very nice way to, to set up the bathroom because at night, when you got all the kids, you can have kids in here using the bathroom, using the shower, getting ready. You can have another set of kids still working on going to bed, getting teeth brushed and things like that. Uh, so it, not to mention, you know, you don't have to wash your hands in the kitchen sink over here when you're done using the bathroom. Um, spinning you around here just a quick look at uh, the other direction now your dinette and your sofa will both fold down into sleeping uh, spaces obviously um, the all the original owner's manuals present and accounted for and I've always said that's an excellent indicator um, it's also I mean everyone knows how big you know a book is you see how big this cabinet is by comparison well that's how big all these cabinets are that's how big all these cabinets are. Everything is, is very large and very functional. There is a small measure of storage below this sofa. It's not something you're going to use every day. I really recommend to use that for like blankets and linens and stuff here. Like I said, you're not going to dig out every afternoon. Front queen walk around bed. There is full storage under it as we saw. You see we have the his and hers wardrobes with some extra deep cabinets above which is nice. You also get twin reading lights up here. Um, the bed is on struts and lifts easily. There are power outlets and extra large bed stands on both sides of the bed. Uh, that's really good for uh, keeping your phones charged at night, keeping them next to you. I use mine like my alarm clock, so that's perfect. Um, I don't have one, but like my parents have CPAP machines. Well, the, you know, having a power outlet right up next to their head is perfect for them. Um, this camper is perfect. Uh, all preset up here for a flat screen on the wall. You see that they did not install one. Now it's also preset for a flat screen on the wall up there. That's what that white sticker with the little red X on it is. So you, if you, they, they didn't install one. This trailer is almost factory spec still. Other than running the AC a little bit, I, I don't even see where they use the oven. Um, so if you wanted to add two TVs, you could. But what I've had a lot of folks with this floor plan report is if they install one there. And mom and dad don't mind cuddling a little bit on this side of the bed at night. That's all you need. But uh, short of that, it's a camper. Go outside, go camping. You know, the, the obvious question is, well, you know, if it's so nice, why'd they swap it out? Because they loved it. They loved camping and they wanted something a little bit bigger with a slide. You know, if you've had a pop-up and you're tired of it, this is a great camper. If you're a first-timer, you've never done this before, this is an easy-in, easy-out camper. This is the most popular bunkhouse floor plan out there. It, most popular bunkhouse in production today is this layout. So there's always somebody who will be willing to buy this when you're done with it. And remember that everything does resell, and Jayco's hold their higher resale value. So give us a call. Learn a little bit more. 800 256 51 96 Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.